Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft! Well, I say welcome back, but we are in a new world. I would like to welcome you to a creative world. I would like to do a new series if you guys would allow that. I have got my building itch on and I think I would like to bring you guys along with the resurrection of a project. Now, a few of you out there might know that I used to play on this public server, b, &B uh, where I made an alternate realm on that on that server, sorry, and I made an adventure map. An adventure map based on the zombie apocalypse happening in a modern city after the downfall of society and everything went wrong and hey, I would like to start that again if you guys are totally up with that. You can see I've been doing a little bit of work here and I'd like to go through all this with you. Now first off, I know it's not the most interesting skyscraper in the world. This is one of the things that I would like to address, address during the making of this particular series is how terrible I am at making skyscrapers any ideas let me know i think this one is kind of nice uh this is the one where i copied the wall out and everything's flat on this side for some reason uh but you can see i've got like stairs and such on this side it's looking pretty good i like the scar there you might be wondering why this is so far along and i didn't bring you in from the very beginning well that was because i didn't know whether i had the entire idea set to run with it and i but now that i've built this much i think yes I would like to uh, to do an entire series on this. Should we just walk through what I've got going here? This will give you an idea of what it is that we're trying to do. Um, and yeah, and then hopefully you guys will come along for the rest of the series as we build this thing. So you start off up the top here. We're going to have some signs, maybe maybe some splash screenage, you know, the title messages that can pop up uh, on this middle of the screen here. We'll try and do something like that. Hopefully we'll have this hosted on a server somewhere and people can just come along and play. But anyway, the first real serious bit of gameplay is wooden buttons are your friends. Here's a friend. You need to go find two more. And you're like, okay, well, what's going on here? I tried to make this first floor as intuitive as possible. It, it's easy. It's just go find some buttons, you know? Buttons are your friends. Go, go find the buttons. We've got various nice little features out here. You can see we've got little smoke stacks or vent stacks on the go. Um, some, some sort of air conditioning unit, maybe. I don't know why we've got magma up here. I just decided that it seemed like a good thing to put down. And oh, what do you know? We have found a friend. Now, what do you reckon is going to be happening here? Well, I hope that this doorway is obvious enough that people will just notice this in their exploration. You can see there's even a torch back there to show that you should be going through through um, a nice little communication tower there uh, another button of course I, I know where all these things are so that that that's pretty simple you know what I think we're gonna do this in oh did I did I mistype okay we'll do it in adventure mode I think I, I was oh 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 will you, will you look at this I've obviously been doing this beforehand and not topped up uh, cook, cook beef just just give me some food please all right, I've taken my experience off me. I have eaten everything that I can. I'm a brand new Minecraft player, and we've gone around and we've pressed all these buttons. Now, I want this to be a persistent map. I want it to be able to run on a server and just carry on running, kind of like Mine Z. I don't know if you guys played that, but in a post-apocalyptic city setting. So I've made almost all of my puzzles resettable. So now all those buttons need to be pressed again to open that up. Now that's that's a very very basic version of what I mean by a resettable puzzle. I've done a lot of more complicated stuff here but this central core is going to be uh, this central stairway is kind of going to be the core part of your experience during your descent through this starting tower this tower here is really to introduce you to the world around how things are going to work what you're supposed to do so straight away you come out of the door and you can see in emergency floor manager has security override now i didn't really mention in that sign that this door is locked in the emergency i'll, I'll maybe have to think about that if you guys can think of a better way of wording that sign let me know we have some nice artwork on the wall you can see this is just kind of a, a nice little reception area for an office floor if you will and oh looks that what's this still looking for a friend a, a small reminder that wooden buttons are your friend and over there you can see security override so, so let's try and put some things together what we've got is uh, security override is needed here and there's a button over there so I hopefully 
one thing I've been trying to do during the whole build process of this is make this as intuitive as possible, but have everything just kind of point you in the right direction. Now, did I put an extra spawner down here eventually? I think it's underneath, yeah, underneath this chair there is a spawner. Now, the, the delay is quite, quite unreal on these spawners. I'm going to have to probably go around and tweak these. These are all custom spawners with custom zombies in there. You can see they're all super, super weak just so you can beat them down in the... Uh, non-equipped state that we're in right now Ugh. they're either one critical hit or two punches but that should be nice and easy i particularly like all these laptops i've got um kind of littered around there's a load of dead chests here but there are also refillable chests which i'll talk about out there uh, you can hear Piston happens. I did that just as an audio cue. I could have taken that off as a silent button, but as the door was not visible... Hey, 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 how's it going? As the door was not visible, I thought it'd be a good idea to have an audio cue. All these uh, offices are furnished here. Some of them may have some equipment in for you to go and find. Some of them might not. Who knows? But look, we press the button, the door is open, and a reset has been hit. I like that. I think that's pretty good. That's a nice way of like um, forcing players to do the floor, if you will, having a nice little bit of rubble. I'm not so sure about this side of the rubble. Maybe we need to like put this in as a stair or something like that. But we'll, we'll come back and have a look at that. Uh, further down, now th this is something I'm not sure of, but at the same time, I kind of like it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, we, we might do something about that, we might not. Uh, coming further down, we've got the next floor. Now, this floor is mainly uh, planning stage, because this is the floor that's going to teach mechanics to the player, uh, how the trading system works, what the spawn points are going to look like, how the refillable chests work. Now, I've not worked out all the mechanics there, so a lot of this is just uh, signs reminding me what I have worked out and how to write it down. But the one thing that is very important is you need to come in here and hit this pressure plate. There we go. Sp spawn point has been set. Whilst we're here, should we uh, have a look in this chest? This is one of the uh, the refillable chests. If you close that down, open it back. It's broken. Ah, uh, why is it broken? Hang about. Let's, ha let's have a look here. But we can go and have a look, see what's going on. This is why we do... Cannot change chest rotation. <laughs> okay, I've obviously done something wrong here. I thought it looked good. Uh, replace zero. The, yeah, I'm not sure why it didn't replace the block. Trapped underscore chest. That That's the one we need, right? Uh, did I press enter? Trap chest. Okay, cool. I keep pressing escapes come out of command blocks recently. It's not helpful. Uh, now, we need to give that a little pulse, don't we? We need to give that a little pulse. We should be able to do it just like this. Pop. Okay, I saw a latch disappear. This is going to open totally the wrong direction, right? There we go. Okay, that opens back up again. That's good. Let's fix this hole. Okay, back in adventure mode. So we can get some items out of here. I really wish I could figure out a way of not of that not like having a little glitch there. Uh, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, so we can do this. I forgot all about the blaze rods. Ah, so I. Just left myself a little note reminding me that I need to... Oh, that's spectator mode. That's not the one. Uh, reminding me that I need to uh, sort out this particular issue at some point. But we can stand around. Does it not let me just drop it in there like that? I couldn't shift click. How very unusual. Uh, but you can go around and make a few potions around. I'm going to have a few of these chests littered about. Uh, this sort of brewing stand setup, I've decided, is kind of a staple part of almost any kitchen slash office environment because people are going to want their drinks right I, I know i want my drinks when i'm in i'm at work and working hard and slaving over the books or the chests or the whatever it is that they want me to slave over here uh i, I want my my little bit of speed potion oh you know i do okay potion brood i'm gonna just keep that and let's go have a look around. Now, obviously, th this area is quite well laid out. I, I like the way I've done this. We've got nice little view lines to show what's going on. I'm not sure whether I want to put zombies in here or not, because obviously this is this is a learning floor, so I don't want to rush people through the learning section. So I think we might leave that um, as a safe floor, if you will. Or if there are zombies, they'll be in very specific contained areas. Unlike this floor... This floor is a combat floor. We're going to come across here. You can read... Oh, it would really be nice if it was daytime, wouldn't it? I wonder how many of these we're going to have to do to get to morning. 
that's pretty good. Okay, we can we can see what's going on now. Uh, let's let's just add one more. Okay, we can see what's going on now, and that is the main key. Uh, so this floor's theme is kind of like a conference room. We've got nice little wide areas here to to have little combat areas in actually, but they're they're supposed to be. Before the apocalypse, this is where people came to have meetings, if you will. Polite notice, key cards must be in hand to unlock door. Okay, so that's telling you where we need to go. Let's have a look at the Romero Center. This is kind of the notice board telling you what's going on. Room one, multitasking for the new age. Room two, long range asset acquisition. Room three, achieving goals. Keys to success. Hmm. It's a nice subtle hint there. She so might be like, all right, room one, I don't want that. Let's wander down to room two. The whole time getting an idea, seeing what's going on here. You can see they're kind of identically laid out, almost, almost. They're, they're different in the details. Room three, ah, oh, the door's locked. So how, how do I do this? This is, a, this is a question. Also, do you like my fridge? Uh, got suspiciously old stew. This is a, a refillable. So if you find yourself without food, this is the point to start getting some. Uh, so we come back out. Obviously, room one is the key, but everything's empty. What what does it want me to go in here? Oh, look, spawning happens all around. Uh, this is something that's going to be a, uh, a running theme in this city. Is kind of stuff that, as I say, resets itself or is self-propagating. So we've gone through room one. Look, there's an archer over there. What was it? Long range asset acquisition. Maybe I leave some notes and hints around. Okay, I'm going to ignore that lame zombie because he really is slow. Why didn't he turn and try and have me? Well, that worked out for me. I mean, look look how lame he is. This, this is so slow. You can take your time. He's a little bit stronger than the feeble guys. He takes two critical hits um, as opposed to the one. Ah, look, these guys want me. Look at them. They, they, re they really want to come through this door. So let, let's... Let's bring this guy through. Man with keys. Hmm. He might be useful. What do you guys think? Is he useful? I, I chose to use a villager there just to kind of mark him out as separate. Um, now, I know we're going to have a little bit of trouble here. Beating him off with my bone is not the way that I thought. Hey, Mr. Skeleton. Ah. As always, the best way to deal with a skeleton is to not have line of sight and then just run at him. Uh, the feeble skeletons are weak in health points. I couldn't figure out a way of reducing the damage from their bows. I've given them weakness, but I'm not sure if that's enough. Uh, in here, um, nice little pamphlet of work. Uh, we didn't really have a look around because there was so much... So much... Um, combat on the go that yeah we, we didn't really get chance so let's, let's come back here and have a look you can see each room has a big conference table big boss man has got his sofa thing at the top uh he's uh, working on the apple laptop whereas someone down here is on the oldie redstone computer uh we've got inside these, these nice little detail areas i'm not sure if this is enough for the area the walls in particular are very plain, but inside I've got little like tattered paperwork. This is I, I like little details like these in my adventure maps, just the things that give the world a little bit of life. I feel like there might need to be something on this wall at some point. I don't know. I'm not sure what these buttons are. Maybe they're like mice or just. I don't know, coffee cups? So I suppose that's kind of what these plant pots are. Um, yeah, I don't know. If, if you can think of an RP reason for these to actually be here, let, let me know. Uh, and then. This this is kind of my standard detail unit in this conference area because this is this is what you find in areas like this. You've got a little table, some some logs and some spruce, so some logs and some spruce, some plants in the real world. That's the real world example that I was trying to give there. Not that they would have logs and spruce leaves in the. Could you, could you imagine just this log sat there with some leaves piled on top of it? <laughs> be horrendous. Um, oh, over here we've got a, another little notice board. I just didn't know what to put in this corner here. I was I was going to try for a. TV, but I was like, no, no, that's that's terrible. No one, no one tries for TVs nowadays. I couldn't get anything that looked right either. Uh, and this this table is blank. I'll have to come through and fix this. Uh, another detail unit there. Little bush just to make the place feel lived in. Some more tables and stuff on the side. A little bit of artwork up on the wall. Just kind of feels like one of those terrible corridors you get stuck in as you're waiting to go into a meeting with some regional boss head who wants to tell you how to do the thing that you've been doing for the past three years or something. I'm sure we've all been there, right? Key cards must be in hand. Well, I've got the key card. Is that not good? Oh, it's magic. 
Command block magics. Oh, I'm, I'm actually really proud of that. I, it's it's just a single command block, kind of ticking over, checking to see what's in your active hand. I didn't even know that the active hand thing was a selector we could use. It, it's so good. It's so good. A uh, bit of lighting. I decided to go for redstone torches for lighting just because everyone plays on full brightness and I want this place to be moody. So uh, moody is what we've got going here. Uh, this is another very much in the planning floor. This is going to be a tribe of scavengers are going to live here. But these are kind of going to be like the world law people, the people that tell you what's going on in the world. You know, we've been living here for several generations now and the zombies just keep getting worse. That, that, that type of scenario. Um, but they're also going to be people where you can come and trade stuff. I think it's this guy here. I'm not in creative mode. I can't look at him. Okay, I just spawned myself in a quick button. Let's, let's get this guy in here. All right, he's, he's only got a name of scavenger, but at some point we should give him a better name. Uh, can I talk to him? Hi. So he'll take my key card. Give me a wooden sword back. Needs to be some more like storyline there or something. He needs a better name. Oh, is he gonna is he gonna jump out of here at some point? That would be bad, dude. That would be bad. Um, but as I say, yeah, this is just... This is more of an optional floor. You could get yourself a wooden sword if you come out here and have a look. But really, you just kind of ha have to press this button to move on. And this is just to keep the villagers in. Like, obviously, he's going to just wander around that villager that I've now spawned in. And he could walk down these stairs and conceivably conceivably open this don't open dead inside door there's, there's a few of these around there's a few of these this is just a random a random office floor where you can go around and randomly kill people i'm probably going to end up hiding uh like a leather chest plate i oh, know there's a leather chest plate upstairs which i didn't show you because i don't want to spoil everything on here um I want to put some leather legs and some boots. I want I want you to have a full, terrible set of leather armor and a wooden sword by the time you leave this place. I think I think that's a good sort of starting setup. You can see they're literally spawners everywhere. Uh, this floor needs furnishing. Um, <laughs> you can see I was kind of working out sizing here. This this is the real scrub tier floor. This is where the real cheap of the cheap come to work uh, because we're the, we're only one floor up now. So if I uh, go back out this way and carry on down the stairs this is into the well this is into the current working face where i'm kind of trying to figure out what exactly is going on i know this is going to be a reception area you know the place where you come in and go hey i'm looking for mr such and such can you please direct me to the right floor and they go take the elevator up to such uh, no elevators here because it's all working around the stairs but that that's things that we'll do in other um, skyscrapers. I'm gonna change my game mode. I wish I could remember what the the quick key is. There's like uh, what F3 SD something like that. I don't know. I don't know. What one of the buttons will change your game mode for you. Right. Well, if you've made it this far, you might be wondering what the scope of this build is eventually gonna be. How much building have I got planned out here? And I've got a few things to show you here. Let's go over to let's let's start with the map. Uh, you can see this is the area we're building in. No roofed forest, roofed forest plains. So if if I go back, roofed forest, roofed forest, plains. Uh, we've got this in a paint program here. So if I just come across this area here, this is where I'm going to start the first adventure area. This is what I'm calling the CBD. That is terrible writing. I will do that again. But that is the central business district. If we come over to Zombie City here, this is my town planning. You can see my central business district. I've got the start tower that I want to do, but I've got plans for other towers. This is my working almost game document if you will i've put writing down all the areas for the different places that i want to have um have a presence in the city if you will so we're going to have like a central business district and, and that's going to go here if i change to red okay thank you very much uh, we can then do um downtown now this is the area where a lot of the adventure is going to happen i'm going to put it inside this little forest here this is all massively subject to change of course i might like start building and go oh i need more space here but this is going to be downtown area uh, this is very specifically the adventure area, if you will. Or perhaps, oh no, what I wanted to do, sorry, excuse me, was put a small strip of commercial. And I was saying commercial, but if we come over here, you can see that I have this sort of the malls and markets area split out. Um, and I'm going to want to have one big mall, at least, in between the CBD and the downtown area. Because you want to... 
you want to um, equip up in the mall before you go to downtown where all the zombies are. Uh, other things I want to put in here, I want to have small suburb areas, a research lab. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed this um, this uh, island over here. Yep, words fail me all of a sudden. If we come over yonder, you can see that we have uh, this island here. And this, this is the same island, obviously. Uh, and I was thinking that maybe this would be a great place for, like, an umbrella-style research lab. You know, you'd have a mansion in the corner, and then you'd have your big tower over there, cooling lakes for the nuclear power. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's gonna be wanting to flesh out in that. I've just realised that I'm lost. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Other geographical features of note is definitely this nice little um, extreme hills biome over here. This is going to be the fancy nice area. You could like imagine a whole... Can I... Um... I like to be able to point. So over there you can see there's like room for a whole, whole mansion there. Uh, we could probably bring these two hills together. Like fill this space in here and put another mansion up top there. And they're mainly going to be sort of looting areas but with like massive, uh, massive basement expansions under like three of them or something like that i have just opened my toolbar that that's great uh back here this river let's get back to the admist map this little river sort of inlet here i imagine that we're going to have let's just pick another random no, that's a terrible random color i'm gonna do stuff at the top of rivers oh i don't know so, something something like that can i draw with this yeah so this sort of area here is gonna be industrial um I want to. I want to have a warehouse, a dockyards, massive cranes sticking out into the water, all sorts of things like that. We could probably get rid of that as well. Turn that into water. Look at that, brilliant. And then there would be this lovely little area like this. So yeah, guys, if you like the idea of what I'm trying to do here, do let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Shout me a comment down below. Uh, go and subscribe to my Twitter account because you know that's where all information gets stored and i will see you probably next week where i intend to finish this tower completely put ourselves a bit of an actual i mean like look at all these trees and the grass put down some pavements and turn this into a more urban area and maybe start talking about what the next couple of skyscrapers are gonna be but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye